I have a massive 500 gallon pond at my grandma's house that I am going to be setting up for this male Indian spotted turtle. We have to move this to the other side of the house where the pond is going to be. Oh, there he is. We're just gonna literally just throw all of this in. So I'm gonna put him in your hands right now. And w w what do you think he is? I don't know, but take it out of my hands. <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing day now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this guy right here thinks that the albino iguana is a banana and he's gonna come try to eat them. Bro, what dude, are you doing? Calm down, dude. Dude, Be what friends. are you doing? This is just another iguana. All right, we don't want to get him too close. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could jump up, you know, we don't want Landon to lose some toes. Would, uh, it would not be good. But today's video is not about those guys. Landon, what's up? I didn't say hi to you. What's yep. up, guys? Go check out Landon's channel. Go subscribe to him. He has some pretty awesome content on there, guys. It's going to be linked down below. Go hit that subscribe button for him. But guys, I am having a little problem here at the house that I needed Landon's help with today. So basically, my adult Indian spotted turtles, well, they're fighting. The male is breeding the females too much, and he's making the females actually go and beach themselves and sit in the sun all day and he's really just beating them up trying to breed them since this is the mating season oh wait hello look at this we got both galapagos tortoises outside now i actually during the day take the small one right there and i take him out of his pen so he can graze on grass and i'm just so happy that these two get along but back to the main part of today's video guys i have a massive 500 gallon pond at my grandma's house that I am going to be setting up for this male Indian spotted turtle. Now, they are in here, and well, you can't see much, but he is breeding these females. You could see where the females have come out of the water here, and they've just been digging, trying to get away from the male. So I don't want this turtle to, you know, injure the females at all, because he could really hurt them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys the male and the female. I'm just going to have to uh, reach in here. I could get fingers taken off. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, look at this. We got one of the females right here. Whoa, relax. You can see right here where he's beaten them up some and he's actually taken a chunk of their shell off. Now, thankfully, turtles are near indestructible and they'll be just fine. But we got this one pretty girl right here. We're just gonna put her right here, and see if she hangs out. And we gotta try to find this male because I know he is in here somewhere. I think I got him, I got him. This is the male turtle right here. So you can see that even on his shell right here, He's got a little bit of a chunk missing. That's from breeding the females too much. So what he's doing is he's chasing them around and he is mounting on them just like this. He's mounting them and he's not letting them get away. And you can see that they don't have that big of a pond so well. Yeah, he's just absolutely destroying them. And how you can tell that he is a male is because he has this concave shell. It's got like a slight concave compared to the females that are perfectly flat. Now, the reason I'm setting up this pond is I don't want him to chase the females out of the water anymore. If the females sit in the sun and they're constantly out of the water, they will eventually die from that. And well, we don't want that to happen because these are critically endangered turtles and that would just be absolutely terrible if that happened. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, before we even take this guy over, we are going to go get some supplies, head over to my grandma's and set this pond up. So we just got over here to my grandma's house and well, we're looking at the stock tank right now. This is the giant stock tank pond, whatever you want to call it. And you can see that it is just absolutely massive. I mean, it's got to be at least like six feet by like four feet wide. But our only problem is, well, someone gashed holes in it. So you can see right here that there's some holes right here. It looks like someone took a machete and literally just whacked it right there and right there. And I'm pretty sure that's the only hole here. So once we get the pond in place, we are going to have to actually put flex tape on it to keep it from leaking. All right. So what we have to do is we have to move this to the other side of the house where the pond is going to be. So I'm going to have to put the camera down because me and Landon have a little bit of a mission going on. We've got to weave it through these trees over there. We've got grandpa supervising. Say hi. Anyways, guys, I will see all of you guys in a second. Guys, we've got the pond in place. You can see it's like, it's pretty crazy. It's absolutely huge. And Landon just came up with the idea of leaving this inside of the truck and doing a DIY turtle pond in the bed of a truck. Maybe in the future, but for now, Landon's going to stay on the back there, hold the pond in place, and we're going to go take it to the other side of the house. Guys, we're getting the pond in place. All right, we got the pond in place. I want to show you guys right now. It's just looking just uh, it's looking absolutely amazing. So what's really cool about where I have it is it's going to get sun, but then right here, about half the pond is shaded so the turtle can go in the shade, cool off, 
But what we gotta do now is we gotta kinda flip it sideways and rinse all the dirt out. So now that the pond is in place, we have a couple things that we need to do. You can see there's a gash there, there's a gash there, and there's another one on the other side. So we have to use this stuff right here. This is some Gorilla Tape waterproof. So if you guys have seen Flex Seal, this is basically Flex Seal, but I think it's better than Flex Seal. So what we're gonna have to do is clean this with alcohol because it's full of all kinds of nasty dirt. And with all that dirt there, well, the tape is not gonna hold very well. So we're just gonna take a little alcohol like that and we're gonna clean this really good, get it nice and clean, get all the dirt off. Look at that, I think it's looking good. What do you think, bro? I think it looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice here. So now this is entirely clean and I actually went and took a hammer to it and we got it really smooth. Before it was really uneven and jagged, but now it's you know as smooth as it's gonna get. But basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take this flex tape right here and we're going to put it just like this and we're gonna cover the hole right here on the outside and then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the inside. So we're just gonna measure it. We're gonna get about this much right here and I've got my scissors right here. So right there we're just going to cut it just like this. Perfect. And now I'm just going to have to peel this off. You know, this is some crazy sticky stuff. I don't know if any of you have used this stuff before, but it is extremely sticky. So you really don't want to get your fingers on it because it's just some really bad stuff. So now that we got this like this, I'm just going to measure it. So we're just going to try to get it even in the middle. Put that there, that there. And then we're just going to, as hard as we can, we don't want any air bubbles. We want it to be perfectly stuck to the plastic. And we're just gonna work our way this way. We just want it to be as even as possible. We don't want any air bubbles, any gap. So I'm just gonna place it with my thumb, just like this, actually. We've got some air bubbles, but that's no big deal. It'll end up being just all right. Check this out. So if you look right here, we rinsed the pond entirely out. So it's nice and clean. So what we have to do now is we have to get a basking platform. So basically we're gonna have water in here with a bunch of water plants. And then we're gonna use these bricks that are going to act as a basking platform so the turtle can get out in sun. So now that the pond is clean, I'm going to go head over to the house and get the supplies for this basking platform. So we are back at the house and we are getting our bricks. So take a look at this. So we're just stacking them up right now to see if this is going to be the right height, which is five high, which Landon's doing a great job. Uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I think five will be okay. Dude, oh. there's so many worms under these things. Oh, there's a nice one. Really? Okay. What can we feed this to? Bro, we could feed this worm. Look at this. That's a crazy looking earthworm. We could feed that earthworm. I think we could feed it to a red foot tortoise, bro. Ah. All right, we've got our worm here. Let's see if the tortoise wants it. Here. Here, red foot tortoises love worms. They... Oh, he's eating the worm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. The tortoise just totally ate that earthworm. I want all of you guys to go right now and comment down below if you have ever seen a tortoise eat a worm. If you guys haven't, comment down below. I want to know. So I have the bricks pretty much entirely loaded up. So guess what, guys? I will see all of you guys once we have them done. We now have all of the bricks here inside of the truck, guys. So guess what? You know, now it's time to head over and get this pond set up. One hour later. We're back from the house and we've got our bricks. So we got all the bricks right here in the bed of the truck. Landon's helping out. So we've got them here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start intricately placing them here inside the pond just to see how it looks. Take a look at this, guys. Wow, this has come out absolutely amazing. So if you look, the water's a little dirty from some of the dirt on the rocks. But basically, we made a little step right here for his basking platform. So he'll be able to climb up. Boop, boop, boop and get up. So we're filling it up right now with water and we're gonna head to the house to get the turtle. But before we do that, I'm gonna have to put this plug in because we don't want it to leak water. If this plug is not in, then all the water we put in is just going to just completely come out. So we just literally have to put it in and screw it just like this. Now that we have the pond in place, guys, Landon and I are going to head to the house, grab the turtle and some water plants. We're back here at the house and now we have to get this turtle inside of the bin, load him in and take him over to my grandma's house. The pond there is filling up, so we gotta get over there quick so it doesn't overflow. Oh, there he is, we got him right here. So there's the big boy, we're just gonna put him right here in the bin. And we have to get some plants because we want this pond to be nice and shaded. So we're just literally gonna get a bunch of these water lettuces here, or actually water hyacinth. We gotta go right here and literally just grab, just like about a mountain of this stuff. Look at that, that's some good stuff right there. We're gonna take all that with us. We've got our turtle loaded in, we've got our plants, and we also have got some aquatic turtle food. We're gonna leave my grandma in charge of this. I'm actually surprising her with this turtle. She has no idea that we're setting up this pond, so it's gonna be pretty cool, because she actually loves turtles. That's one of her favorite animals, so getting to surprise my grandma with this is gonna be pretty cool. 
I'm super excited to finally put this turtle in here because, well, he deserves something that's just a little bit bigger than what he's normally used to. So before we even put him in, well, we gotta fill it up with some plants. We're gonna throw a bunch of this. We're just gonna literally just throw all of this in. And then now, we've got this big guy. This guy's gotta go inside the pond, so I'm actually gonna get inside of there with him, put him in. We gotta get in there with him. And let's get in, let's feel. It's not bad, it feels really nice. It's very refreshing. I almost wanna go in myself. But this guy is just gonna have a blast. So this is really cool, because he'll be able to bask right up here, and then he'll be able to get in the water, and this is kinda like a ramp for him. So it's just a really cool pond for him. Oh, in the water he goes. Look at this guy right here. He's just swimming along, having a great old time. I think he's just going to absolutely love his new home. Now we still have to let the water fill a little bit higher up, just to about right there. But overall, this guy has just got a new dream pond here. And guys, I think I hear my grandma pulling up right now. So we're going to hop out. We're going to go. I hear her on the other side of the house. So we're going to run in and we're going to surprise her. She has no idea that we're doing this. My grandma is not out here, but she might be inside. Well, that's really where she's going to be because if she's not out here, she's going to be in there. So let's go in. We can't wait to surprise her. Oh, she's been there. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. What are you doing here? I'm just, I've been here. How are you? I've actually, I've, I've been setting up something in the yard for you. What? what did you do? See, she knows what's up. She always knows I'm doing something. Well, I'm gonna actually. Can I blindfold you so you can see what's what's out there? Okay, if you're gonna hold your arm. Okay. Okay. There. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I want oh yeah, yeah. Hold my arm and and and, and, and let's go. Okay. All right, we're here, and let me pull it off. What is it? What do you think it is? You just gotta look around and you'll see it. Oh, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. Oh, cool. It's an Indian spotted turtle. So let me let me get in there and show you him. He's really, really cool. Oh yeah, look at this big guy. Look how cool he is. Oh, he's beautiful. How beautiful, you wanna pet him? Yeah. He's cool, right? Yeah. You have a new pond in your backyard. That's cool. And sometimes you'll see him up here basking up in the sun and then he's probably going to, uh, come on. Woo, he went on in. So basically all you have to do is come out here once a day. I brought some food for you. Okay. All you're gonna have to do, so this is aquatic turtle food, so literally all you have to do is sprinkle like this much food in here for them. Okay. Just like that much food is plenty of food for him. Okay. And then whenever you're out, let me know. I'll come over, I'll refill it. Is he coming up to eat? Yeah, 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 he's gonna come up. Well, I guess he's not going to eat, and that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. Grandma, I'm so glad I could surprise you with this Thank pond. You. You're so welcome. So guys, if you have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of this massive new turtle pond. And guys, if it is your first time on the channel and you enjoy the content, well guess what guys, it is the first link down below.